Esa. High school boy football look this season. People them ready, you know. All right then, Pico, Maninko, Oliver Yashil, you make willing. Yeah, let's start with football on this Monday edition of the Sportsman Zone. It was a pulsating weekend of schoolboy action in Jamaica with the finalists for both the most prestigious rural area and urban area competitions decided in the urban area Manning Cup, the semi-finals of which were contested on Friday. Mona and Heidel secured their spots in the championship match. Mona clipping St. George's College by two goals to one. We spoke about that on Friday, while Heidel held off Kingston College 5-4 and penalties after a 2-all full-time scoreline. Heidel had taken a 2-0 first half advantage. Here is Devon Anderson, the head coach of Heidel. Words cannot express my feelings, you know. We have, well, as one spectator said, coach, I've been knocking on the door for years. It's not open yet, but it's crack. You know, we intend to open it. You know, this is a very special day for the Idel family and all my supporters over the years, you know. Once, we, once this game played at Sabina Park, I never, I never have any fear. Once it comes down to penalty, the only thing come back to me is 2014 against CC, the knockout game. And, you know, once it's that goal again, far gone conclusion. Yeah, it's not opened yet, but it's cracked, says Devon Anderson, the head coach of Heidel High. The Manning Cup final will be contested on December 8 at the National Stadium. You know, Mariah, I am so delighted for coach Devon Anderson. And I tell you why. This has been a long time in coming. He came to prominence as the head coach of Holy Trinity High School, not one of the superpowers in high school sport in Jamaica. But he did tremendous work with Holy Trinity. And in 2014, they got to the Super Cup final, as it was called then. The Champions Cup is now the equivalent of that. They lost to Jamaica College by two goals to nil in that final. I still remember a jam-packed Sabina Park for that final, but JC just having too much quality that season with the likes of Junior Flemings. And over the years, while he was at Holy Trinity, they lost a number of their leading players. So consistently, Devon Anderson would build the players from the ground up and consistently he would lose a number of their those players especially to jamaica college i think jamaica mm -hmm. college as a single institution um probably benefited more from the holy trinity program from what devon anderson created than any other institution and it's difficult when you are at a developing institution and you are trying your very best um, to put a cadre of players together who can challenge um, and you continuously lose a lot of those players. And so from time to time, we saw Holy Trinity doing well, getting to a semi-final of the Manning Cup, um, playing real attractive football. That's one of the things you would associate with um, Devon Anderson and Holy Trinity. But it never happened for him at Holy Trinity. And he's had to leave. He's gone to Heidel, um, where I suspect that maybe the support is greater than it was at Holy Trinity. And here he is in the final of the Manning Cup to take on Mona High. Um, one of these teams will win the trophy for the first time ever. But I'm, I'm elated for Devon Anderson because I think he really deserves this. He has put in the work. He has shown um, himself to be a really good coach. Um, a really good leader of youngsters and yeah he's almost there yeah and he seems very very confident you listen to him just now and he said once he realized they were playing at Sabina Park and it went to penalties he had no fear whatsoever so clearly he has been putting in the work with the boys where penalties are concerned and it it appears as if they've been practicing at Sabina Park no there is a story <laughs> behind that so in, the, okay. in that 2014 season that I told you about they played Clarendon College in the first round of the Super Cup which was the round of 16 Clarendon College of course that season on the Patrick Jackie Walters won the Da Costa Cup it was the okay. first time they were winning the Da Costa Cup since 1998 and so they went into that contest as massive favorites Clarendon College but 
Holy Trinity stopped them. It went to penalties at Sabina Park and it was that very end that they won the game on Saturday that they won that 2014 shootout against um, Clarendon College as well. And so I think in that venue, he had great memories and once the shootout was to be at that end, he felt confident. Mind you, completely different school, yeah. different group of players, but the, the belief, the confidence was still there in coach Devon Anderson. Yeah, and I want to say the two teams that will be contesting this final are two teams that, you know, they've defeated some top teams to get to where they are. So both teams will be very confident because we know how Mona, the route that Mona took to get to this juncture, junction that they are at right now. And then we have um, this team, Heidel, defeating Kingston College and Kingston College this season extremely hot it's as if they came from behind to you know defeat teams they found an extra gear when necessary so I think both teams will be confident and Ricardo as much as I have my favorite team mm -hmm. it's anybody's match to win I, I want to know who your favorite team is um, before we leave this segment Mariah but speaking about Heidel Kingston College um, there's also a story there because Heidel and Kingston College came out of the same first round group okay. and in fact Heidel beat Kingston College the first time they met this season quite handsomely as well. Um, Kingston College, um, as I understand it, launched a protest and a number of players from Heidel were deemed ineligible. Okay. Apparently they had played more than the number of transferred players they were allowed to. Um, and so they lost the points for that game and Kingston College got the maximum points from that encounter. Casey, of course, went on to top the group. Um, and Heidel, they have had to slowly build um, since the docking of those points. And it wasn't just the docking of the points, but they would have lost about three players who could take no further part in the competition. Three players who they would have been looking to as pivotal parts of their setup to try and win the title this season. Now, there are many who feel that had that not happened and they hadn't lost those players, um, that things would have been different. Th this would be, we, we would be saying how massive of a favorite they are going into the championship <laughs> match. Um, but yes, I think it was personal against Kingston College. Um, but you have to give Kingston College credit because they made a really good match of it. They went down by two goals to nil. It looked as if it was done and dusted, but they found a way back. But again, also great credit to Heidel for hanging on in difficult situations because many other teams would fold in that shootout after you're two nil up after you're in control and all of a sudden you now have to deal with it in a shootout but they were clinical from the spot the Heidel players and you have to give them a whole lot of credit and they go to the final now to play Mona High who we spoke about on Friday and yes it's going to be a fabulous final I think it's the first time Mariah, since 2006 that we will have a Manning Cup final without Jamaica College, without St. George's College, without Kingston College. And that speaks to the significance of Heidel and Mona yeah, and getting to the final. First final yes. in the history of the game. So I'm looking forward to see how these players do because what's for sure is a lot of pride is on the line, yes. you know, where these schools are concerned. They've waited so long, Ricardo, and I think, you know, it's it's a different storyline. Whoever wins this competition, I would say it's well deserved because of the fight and the battle to get where they are now. Yeah, Craig Butler has been promising the Manning Cup title to Mona for a few seasons now. This is as close as as they have ever gotten so this is a marvelous opportunity um, for I think Craig to prove many of his daughters wrong in a way um, I guess Craig would probably say he doesn't have to win the Manning Cup to prove his daughters wrong but it would definitely um, be massive for him and the Mona High community it would also be significant for the Heidel community remember as well that this year earlier this year for the first time Heidel won girls champs um, and now they're on the cusp of winning the Manning Cup title. That would be quite a double if they're able to pull it off. Then next year, they'll just have to win school's challenge <laughs> quiz for the most coveted triple 
in all of high school competition in Jamaica. And then everybody will want to go to Heidel because how it works back in Trinidad is once a school does well in academics and in order to topping in sport, it becomes a first choice. Yeah, makes sense. All right, the drama wasn't limited to just the urban area, though, as both rural area, the Costa Cup semifinals were contested on Saturday. Favorites and defending champions Clarendon College were pushed to the limit by Garvey Maceo at the Glenmere High School field. Clarendon College coming away 4-3 winners in the penalty shootout after a one-all full-time scoreline. And in the other game at Manchester High, Glenmere prevailed 4-2 on penalties over Dintail after after a nil-all draw. Here's the Clarendon College Technical Director, Lenworth Teacher Hyde. Match up again. Love playing against the Glenmore team. They are a ball playing team. So we just have to go and prepare for that. Tuesday is an next crucial game against Idel. So we'll be looking forward to that. Oh well, we can re replenish the players, get them rested and ready for Tuesday game. Yeah, he's speaking about the Champions Cup, which comes up tomorrow. Linworth, the teacher high, they will play Heidel. That's going to be a great game, but significant. Clarendon College have been the top team in the rural area for the last five years. This is their fourth final in the last five Da Costa Cup competitions and they play such an attractive brand of football that you always want to see them. You never get tired of seeing Clarendon College because of the quality football they play. They will take on Glenmere in the final who are also an attractive team to watch under the guidance of Andrew Peart. They have met once already this season and Clarendon College won that game by two goals to one so not a lot between the teams and I think a fantastic fantastic the Costa Cup final is set up for us. So I have a question, right? Yeah. Heidel playing in the final and then playing tomorrow. Does that affect their setup in any way? When you say affect their setup, I mean at this stage of the season you have a lot of matches and a lot of quality matches coming at you in in quick time so for example last week st george's college had the quarterfinals of the champions cup on tuesday the money cup semi-finals on on friday and they lost both matches and they are out that's the end of their season garvey maceo um losing in 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 the um, the Costa Cup semi-finals didn't till their season coming to an end because you are at the business end of the of the competition. So you're at a stage where you have to win everything now mm -hmm. if you want to win titles. Um, and so from that standpoint, it's moving from one big game to a mm -hmm. next um, to another. And I think that can be taxing both mentally and physically. But ultimately, that is what these players prepare for. You know at the beginning of the season that if you go deep in competitions, you're going to have back-to-back -back matches, matches in close proximity. And you have to be ready for that both physically and mentally. So Clarendon College have proven that they can do it before. And I think all the teams who are at this stage of the various competitions have been well conditioned. Um, and so I, I have no fear. I have no doubt that we are going to see some quality football um, over the next few weeks in all the competitions, the Champions Cup, the Manning Cup, the Da Costa Cup. I think we have a fantastic Da Costa Cup final. It's a wonderful Manning Cup final with a different type of storyline this time around. And the Champions Cup still to be decided. Yes, the semifinals will be on Tuesday at the Anthony Spaulding Sports Complex. Clarendon College opposed Heidel in the opener. That will be 3 p.m. local time for ECT, followed by Glenmuir against Kingston College at 5.15 p.m. local time. That's 6.15 ECT. And Mariah, I think we should remind our viewers of the predictions from the in-house guru, Lejay Williams. Although he is not here today, he did make his picks from last week. By the way, he got the Costa Cup picks right. He said Clarendon College and Glenmuir for the championship match. So congratulations, Lejay. Well done. Let's remind you of what he said for the Champions Cup coming up tomorrow. DJ, drop the track. <laughs> People are ready, you know. All right, then. Pick up. Manning Cup. Okay, let's say good luck. Let's well, go. Well, first of all, Ricardo, you're saying 75%. 75% prediction guru doesn't quite roll off the tongue. Give me a three-quarter instead, you know. <laughs> I feel like that's much better. But um, for one side of the draw, I see Clarendon getting through. Clarendon will be to the final because I said that Clarendon are winning every single trophy this year. And on the other side of the draw, I said it last time that 
you should not bet against KC. But How once, are you going to bet against them? But once I, my mind is dug in, I think the law of averages dictate that Glenmuir will get the better of them next week, Tuesday. And it's going to be an all Klarinan affair in the Champions Cup final, as it will be in the Dacosta Cup final as well, by the way. It's going to be Clarendon College versus Glenmuir in the Champions Cup final with CC winning that game. But I, I, I'll save that for another time. Yeah, so Legit Williams says that the Da Costa Cup final will also be the Champions Cup final. We'll find out tomorrow. I'll be on commentary alongside the 75% prediction guru. No, I'm giving him I'm giving him 90% now. We're giving him an upgrade. You're giving him an upgrade? Yes. Oh. Yeah, I want to know your, who, who your favorite team are. You said you had a favorite team for the Manning Cup. I like Mona. Oh, you like Mona? Yeah. You're a fan of Mona Matengde. <laughs> That's how y'all say it. You come back with that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I have to keep practicing so okay. I can get it good. Right. So yeah, I'm picking Mona and I'll pick Clarendon. Mona and Clarendon College yeah. to win the money. Now don't call me Cup prediction guru or anything. Like. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. I just want to see where your luck leads you. <laughs> <laughs> it's really luck, no. Let's take a break. It's all luck. <laughs> It's a schoolboy football, run from look one, look all. Which team are the best and are better than the rest of the fire team beat your chest? It's a schoolboy football, a team could rise and a team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows around, come enjoy the show. Yeah.